today we're going to talk about gear ratios. Gears are used in robotics to drive lifts, intake systems, and drivetrains, among other things. And when multiple gears are stacked together, they create what is called a gear ratio. Gear ratios are used to adjust the mechanical advantage of a VEX motor, which basically means controlling whether or not the output is faster and weaker than the input, or if it is slower and stronger. The strength of a gear ratio is its torque, which is the twisting force that causes rotation. Its direction is given by the cross product of the direction of the applied force and the direction of the radius from the axis. The higher the gear ratio, the faster the output speed will be. And the lower the gear ratio, the slower the output speed will be. A gear ratio can be given in two different ways. You can use a colon and write driving to driven, or you can put it as a fraction with driven over driving. If I am applying force to this gear, then the gear ratio is 84 to 36. Uh, that it would be the drive gear to the driven gear. In this gear ratio, we have an 84 tooth gear driving a 12 tooth gear driving a 36 tooth gear. This gear in the middle is called an idle gear because it really doesn't do anything. This is a compound gear ratio. What that means is that it's a combination of two different gear ratios. This is the first gear ratio, this is the second gear ratio. And the dri driven gear of the first gear ratio is on the same axle as the driving gear on the second gear ratio. For compound gear ratio, it's pretty much the same except you multiply the two gear ratios together. So if your first gear ratio is x over y, and your second gear ratio is a over b, then your final gear ratio will be ax over by. In this real life example, I have a 36 tooth gear driving an 84 tooth gear, which is on the same axle as a 60 tooth gear driving a 12 tooth gear. If I want to do the math for this, what I'll do is I will take the driven gear in the first gear ratio over the driving gear in the first gear ratio, and I'll multiply that by the driven gear in the second gear ratio over the driving gear in the second gear ratio. And that will eventually simplify to a 7 over 15 gear ratio. This gear ratio, which was used for our shooter last season, has a 60 tooth gear driving a 12 tooth gear on the same axle as a 60 tooth gear driving a 12 tooth gear. That means that the overall gear ratio is 1 over 25, or a 25 to 1 gear ratio, which means that it's geared for speed. So when I connect these wires, notice how the input speed is much slower than the output speed, and at the same time the torque here is much less, so it should be easier to stop.